Hello, all right. Good morning, cyber friends. This the lady man coming at you again this Sunday morning. The Sunday morning roll call, y'all. We thank God for life, health, and strength, and we hope that all of you are doing very well yourselves. We just checking in this morning, already ready, getting ready to get out of here. For church services today at my home church, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, where my pastor is, the Reverend Christopher Williams. And today we are celebrating uh, Men Day. And uh, like I said, we are look, looking forward to going this morning. It's been a while since, you know, like I said, on last year, everything was sort of like shut totally down. But thanks be to God that uh, some of us have decided that we were going to go ahead on and we're going to continue to trust in God and do what we need to do do what we need to do to be saved but but we gonna yet and still go ahead on and do do what does say the lord and uh, i am so glad and happy to say that i'm part of that number today i'm part of the roll call myself today because uh, <clears throat> you know last year this time y'all i was just you know had been too long got out of the hospital and uh with the went through the ordeals that i went through and that therapy that I had to go through with and hadn't been too long, got back home. And uh, actually, this time, a year ago, I was had been home about not even a month. And uh, and believe it or not, I was believe it or not, I was on my way back to another hospital. <laughs> At this time, didn't know it, but I was in. I was on my way back to go to uh, Tipton Regional Hospital. For these, uh, do some surgery on my right side, on the leg and foot down there. And my doctor, Doctor Fuller, down in Tipton, he was—he's my vascular doctor, in other words. And um, I have to go see him ever so often for this PAD that I have. But nevertheless, I'm just showing y'all. I'm just grateful and showing you. I'm a living testimony to the power of God. I know what God will do and can do. And we just saying we are talk, telling everybody this morning if you are your if your membership is not having or not back into the sanctuary just as yet, and you are one of those that want to go to worship, feel free to come on down to y'all missionary about the church. We'll be glad to have you in fellowship with us on today and any other Sunday that we we are full time ministry now, and any time you want to come and in fellowship. Feel free to do so. You are very much welcome to do it. We're not asking you to leave your membership. No, not, never do that. Never leave your membership. But if your membership right now is in idle and you still want to uh, fellowship with the saints of God, come on down. We'll gladly open our arms, outstretched arms, and welcome you in. That's what Nitty Man is telling y'all this morning. I am telling y'all that as deacon from any of y'all missionary about the church. Feel free to come, and we'll welcome you to come and fellowship with us until, and matter of fact, come as many, many times you want to, as much as you want to, as often as you want to, until your your particular church goes back into the sanctuary. You know, we 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 are we are praying for y'all that everything will work out for you, that you will can get on back in the sanctuary, your sanctuary, as soon as possible. So that is Sunday morning roll call, y'all. That Sunday morning check in and just letting everybody know the old middle man is already up and at them and uh, ready to go. And uh, I got to go out and, and do my services as 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 my duty call and do and get in my lane. I got to get that that keyboard this morning and do what thus says the Lord, like always. And so we're praying for all of your cyber friends. You know who y'all. I pray for all of you, all of the uh, people that had such a great hand in my well-being and the lord god put y'all in my, he sent me to y'all all of you uh, health care professionals y'all uh, from the home health care i told y'all about my home one of my favorite home health care nurses was uh, brandy brandy you know who i'm talking about you know sambo both of y'all y'all were two of the my favorite i had a lot of more nurses that came and all of them were very sweet and especially, y'all know I'm, I'm definitely talking about my cordial angels up there. I'm so, um, I, 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 I just became so glued and bond to them. 
I, I mean, I connected with them so well and they took so much greater care of me because I could tell that they genuinely cared for me. And uh, we thank God for them as well as all the great doctors and nurses that I was out there that I went from uh, Phoebe Putnam Memorial Hospital to Tip Regional, even to Chris County Regional Hospital. Y'all, I was in three hospitals last year. I went through the ringer last year. I mean, like I told y'all, I went through hell and high water, but God brought me through every bit of it. And I still say he has a living testimony, y'all. God is able. Believe me, God is able. So I just want to say good morning to all of you, side friends, and all of you that were so connected. I call y'all friends, and I mean that. Y'all are friends, and I never forget y'all. And so with that being said, we're going to go on out of here. We might have to, after a while, we've been going to the end of y'all missionary back to church, do what we're supposed to do. And, uh, and worshiping and serving our God, because y'all, we serve a great God. We can never, we could never do enough. We could never do enough, y'all, for the goodness of our God and what he has bestowed upon each and every one of us. We may not realize, but God has done everything for us. He loved we love him because he first loved us. It wasn't the other way around. So we just want to say that I also give a report to y'all that old bitty man is um, inch, and inch by inch. I got a lot of things in the, in, the, in the plate right now and in the fire I'm trying to work on. And I must say I'm very happy to, to, to announce to y'all that I'm getting there. I am I am getting there. Uh, my guitar, my guitar uh, studies is coming along pretty good. And uh, sometimes, y'all, I don't practice like a day. I might miss a day, but I go right back to it. I go right back to it. And uh, doing the music, we get we 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 back into orchestral right now. We we are trying to get ourselves together. Matter of fact, I even went and found my my trusty uh, manuscript pad that I got. This is my music manuscript paper here, y'all. And uh, I told you, I'm I'm finna get back on the ball with. The, the the orchestral stuff that I used to that I'm accustomed to I uh, I know about it but I just never had tried my hand at writing a, a orchestral piece and my former professor at that very college Dr. Stan Pepper y'all talk, talk, talk about him all the time I know y'all probably is a little weary of me but guess what Minnie Man, Man is going to keep giving it all the people the credit I give God the glory, but I give people the credit that have had a hand in helping me. And uh, Dr. Pepper was one that one of my music professors, uh, one of them that was very instrumental in me composing music to this day. I don't compose like I should, y'all. I tell you, I, I studied composition upon the Dr. Pepper, and uh, he taught me a lot, a very lot. I mean, and uh, I never forget it. And I'm just letting y'all know that that is coming also. So y'all going to, hopefully in a few more days, y'all going to hear an orchestral piece coming from me as well. And I have not forgot, y'all, that treat that I told y'all about. That my song, I got a song that I'm going to post sometime on Facebook. It, it very soon, it could be in the next couple of days, that uh, a new song, a new composition uh, that I'm working on that I think Y'all might like, I'm trying my hand at something new. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I don't have no water back here at any rate. <coughs> I'm trying my hand at something new, a new twist, something I'd never done before in, in songwriting. But I got a composition that I've been working on for quite a few weeks right now, and hopefully it'll be done done in a few days i'm gonna surprise y'all with that y'all my side friend you'll know when it comes up i will put it on facebook and youtube as well so y'all just stand by for that we're not gonna make this video very long we're gonna cut it out right here but i wanted y'all to know the omitted man is working and we thank god that he's able to go about and do his duties god has brought me a mighty long way and he's brought you a mighty long way and i'm gonna continue to pray for all of you I got some of you, I pray for every one of you, but I got God protect the shield around a lot of you. Yes, a lot of you, especially my angels. Y'all are in the medical field every day. Y'all around all this different uh, stuff, and I'm praying that God will keep his shield of protection around my cordial angels. Y'all know who I'm talking about, 
I'm talking about Jessica, Whitney, Aaron, Karen, and Taylor, especially those, and then all of the health care professionals that that's out there that's doing this, helping people. We we need to pray for them, y'all. Pray for God's protection around them to keep that devil from hell, that demonic, demonic entity from hell called COVID-19. Keep that back from them and let them do the work that they're doing that they're taking care of all of us sick people. You are either sick now or you were sick. So in other words, you're just coming out of a sickness, but nevertheless, they had to take care of you. And I'm glad that they decided not to stay at home. I am glad that they decided not to stay at home. And that's how come I'm glad that God helped raise me back up where I can continue to do what I'm doing. And I continue to, and I intend on continuing to do this here until he called me home. With that said, this is a man saying, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God's not in it, come out of it. God's going to come to that. Tell the next video, your next Bible study, whichever comes first. This is a man saying peace and good day.